Hello and welcome to Nitro Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, today you are in for a treat. We are going to take a look at this Megatech Nitro Razor XT 10th scale ready to run Nitro Touring Car. The Pro Race Team Edition up there that says uh, and a lot like the uh, HPI RS4 that we looked at not too long ago uh, that proudly says 50 miles per hour right on the box. The old Nitro Razor here says, whoa down, buddy, over 55 miles per hour right out of the box. Uh, much like Sammy Hagar, uh, the Nitro Razor here cannot drive 55. Uh, it can, uh, and more, actually. So, uh, before we get into it, oh, please, I'm, I'm doing a little bit better at remembering, hey, I got my light on, the light is on, uh, and I'm remembering pretty close to the beginning of the video to say please like and subscribe if you're into awesome vintage cool nitro stuff like this and everything else nitro you're in the spot you're in the place to be please like and subscribe um i saw on the side of the box here had some uh specifications all right so let's go ahead and check those out so we got ready to run, factory built with installed radio and engine, adjustable two-speed, four-wheel shaft drive, heavy-duty aluminum titanium colored chassis and radio plate, a sealed protective receiver slash battery box. We have heavy-duty T6 aluminum adjustable oil-filled shocks, positive handling powder coated coil springs it's complete with high rpm ball bearings a over one horsepower high performance m16 engine with ball bearings a race legal 6.2 millimeter high performance slide carburetor a megatech high performance long life glow plug adjustable turnbuckles and steering links adjustable camber and ride height uh, powder-coated adjustable front and rear anti-roll bars, mounted and glued high-traction Neo V-Groove tires, Neo racing rims, 100% painted, trimmed, and mounted body. You know how much I love that. Uh, Ultra-polished aluminum Neo tuned exhaust system, an oversized fuel tank installed, and a race legal fuel tank included. And we have on the box... A nice picture of that. And I tell you what, she is looking good. That is a good looking car right there. And I tell you something else. Yes, I uh, enjoyed making that video of the RS43. Uh, awesome, cool vehicle. But I've had a ton of those. I'm sure a lot of you have seen a ton of those. You don't see uh, many of these too often. Uh, that can be good, can be bad. Uh, maybe not the easiest to find replacement parts for this, uh, but a uh, super cool vehicle. Uh, I love looking at different stuff than you see all the time. You know what I mean? I, I like the oddball stuff, and, and this certainly fits that bill. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on in and check this thing out. Uh-oh. You know, I'm, I think I am remembering now. Darn it. I think I sold that. Did I sell that? I think I sold that. Man, that's a bummer. Uh, you don't really want to look at a bunch of 
uh, tires. There are some, actually, we'll take a peek real quick uh, at these uh, vintage uh, Ofna colored in uh, yellow and blue. Those are uh, a sight to behold. Uh, maybe not what you expected to see uh, today, but those are really awesome. Man, that sucks. I, I forgot. I, I mean, I'd save this box, obviously. I'm gonna, I'd save every box uh, if I can. And that's a brand new set of tires from <coughs> uh, from something. Um, oh, man, that is a bummer. It's a total bummer. Get rid of these tires there. Well, I guess, well, I don't know, maybe find something else to look at. I mean, I was really looking forward to checking out that Nitro Razor XT. That was a super cool car. Darn, I was like, psych, boom. Gotcha. Did I get you? Maybe not, but ha-ha. <laughs> we have the... Megatech Nitro Razor XT, and yes, I purposely turned it on that side because I don't know uh, what happened. Looks like uh, Father Time has not been kind to uh, this paint on the body here, and it's coming through with some nar nar there. It's not very good looking, um, but that side still looks pretty good. Looks real good, actually. Haha, -ha, you like to... <laughs> uh, my bad. I, I just wanted to. Uh, we're, we're, we're having fun here. There is the Megatech Nitro Razor XT. Uh, not a bunch of tires. Uh, that's the original body right there. Like I said, a little bit of uh, age damage. Uh, I think, but got a really cool Megatech Nitro Razor XT sticker on the back. Got a little bit of peel up there, but really uh, nice wing on there. I really like that wing. And, uh, you know, other than that, which isn't bad, it, it hurts my feelings a little bit. I wish it wasn't there. I wish it looked as nice as the other side, but... It ain't too bad. Um, could be worse. Uh, let's take a look at that front there. Make a tech across the front. Uh, good looking body. Uh, I, I like Porsche bodies. Got a nice uh, wing on it there. Kind of uh, understated as far as the graphics. You know what I mean? Just got a little nice Porsche there couple of little tasteful stripes you know what I mean not uh, not overly done I think uh, a well done body Megatech thank you good job all right let's go ahead and get on in and see what we got under here now I was not joking when I said that I would, am looking forward and yes I have uh, looked at this thing over uh, but um it has been years. Uh, I got it, uh, checked it out. I don't think I ever ran it and, uh, you know, put it up. It's just kind of how it is when you have a large collection. Stuff just kind of hangs out uh, until you pull it up to the majors. Uh, and we can definitely uh, get this thing going. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's uh, solid, ready to just throw a radio, clean some fuel up, get her going. Pretty simple. All right, let's go ahead and get that body off of there and see what we got underneath. Now, again, unique. We, I, I really like unique stuff. That doesn't look like an RS4. Uh, certainly does not. Uh, got your sway bars, front and rear, 
pretty prominent. Okay, um, I see those, and those certainly aren't stock. I, I remember now when I got this, those were loose. Oh, yeah. So, okay, now I'm remembering. So, uh, I don't know if what I believe was the case was there was just a screw going into the, why can't I think of the name of that part? Uh, the knuckle. There was a, uh, just a screw going into there and it had stripped out uh, and it was so it was kind of just loose on there. So I put a longer screw and a nut on the bottom uh, so that it is now uh, solid, not loose, and will not loosen up in the future. And I did that uh, to both sides so that uh, those are solid now. Um, looks like... I did not, did I put some fuel in here and leave some to the point where it's thick and oily now? You know, I'd not be totally ashamed uh, if I did that. Um, we all make mistakes, but certainly that's a rookie move, uh, leaving fuel in the tank uh, so long that it gets uh, thick and oily like that substance that's in the tank currently is what am i showing you there you are sorry about that all right so that's enough of the tank i like the uh cooling head on that uh, nice shiny blue uh with the megatech on it now this came stock with some airtronic servos 94102s it's their standard servo like a futaba s3003 um, I actually think these are much better servos than the 3003s, though, uh, and um, uh, certainly work very well for a 10th scale touring car. Um, two speed baby, of course, we dig that. Gotta gotta have the two speed. Um, this is a cool thing uh, that uh, I know a couple of different vehicles did this. This rear bumper. Uh, doubles as a carrying handle. Let me see if I can get that. I can't get it <laughs> low enough uh, to show you. Uh, okay, I can do it right there. Yeah, that's uh, the rear bumper also doubles as a carrying handle. Uh, no foam on the front bumper, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, certainly uh, could use a piece of foam on that bumper to give you some uh, shock protection on the front. Uh, these are not the stock wheels and tires, um, but I put them on because they're the same like uh, neon green color that the stocks were, and they match the uh, springs and the sway bars. Um, but these are very good racing tires. I believe they're HPIs. Um, yeah, those are HPIs. A uh, huge radio box on this thing. Look at that radio box. That's a monster. Just gigantic radio box. Uh, radio and, or battery and receiver uh, both fit in that one box. Uh, plenty of room for it. I got a kind of cool, um, clear silicone neck there uh, going to your yellow air filter that matches so the blue head and the blue line right but everything else and i'm sure i did that i put that yellow uh antenna tube on there but everything else came i believe with it stock yellow uh, silicone coupler yellow filter yellow sway bar and springs uh, yellow parts on uh, your linkage there for your throttle. Uh, I love color coordination. Uh, if you know me, you know that's something I dig. Would I have loved that they could have sourced a yellow fuel tank lid for it? I would love if they could have, but such is not 
the case. So we'll, we'll make do. Um, it's kind of a odd setup on that servo there. Is that thing going to be able to break? It's a push brake. It pushes the brake instead of pulling it. Uh, pulls the throttle, pushes the brake. I got a pull start on there. These Megatech engines are great engines. These uh, M16 uh, engines are awesome. Came on a few different vehicles. What's the, the this is the same engine. I believe it's a different head, maybe a different version, but it is the same M16 engine that came on the Megatech Dark Thunder and the Megatech uh, Afterburner, uh, your two, your top fuel dragster and your funny car, two of the most classic nitro vehicles ever made, a uh, cornerstone of uh, anyone's who, collection who has those. Awesome, awesome pieces. The Megatech uh, Nitro Dragsters, the Top Fuel Dragster, the uh, Dark Thunder, and the Funny Car, the Afterburner. Beautiful cars. Check those out if you don't, uh, if you're not familiar with them. Uh, great looking pipe on there. Apparently, that's that Neo pipe they were talking about. Looks very good. I like that pipe hanger. There it comes comes out had a little bend after the tank and then goes down it's a nicely bent uh hanger there i like that um uh, let's take a peek at the bottom of it uh this appears to be in really good shape it has been uh ran certainly but um not a whole lot uh, I don't like to see uh, the engine mount screws that are not recessed. Uh, these will, uh, in time, get scratched and rubbed down if you run this car a lot. As you can see, that screw right there is starting to happen to it, is getting rubbed off um, by that same process. Uh, got a full servo horn on that uh, Airtronics. Now, I personally, whenever I install uh, a, a horn like that, I will snip off the ears that are not in use uh, and only leave the one that is connected to the uh, linkage. But uh, whoever uh, decided to leave the other arms on that one, so that's the way it is. Um... We will uh, get this car running. Like I said, I believe I ran this car before. It does uh, run beautifully. Uh, this Megatech M16 engine. Um, the engine itself is a peach, and this particular one, I believe, has great compression. is in great shape uh, it's itself. Oh, looks like we got a, uh, I didn't see that, little spring in there. You see that little spring right there is to return uh, so you don't drag your brake. Uh, it pushes the brake, so that right there is brake on, okay? So that little spring uh, pulls the arm back to make sure the brake doesn't drag. I like it. Very cool. My uh, end cap came off of there. It looks like there's a, is there a 2.4 gigahertz radio in there? There apparently is. Um, so I definitely did run it because uh, it certainly didn't come with a 2. Point gigahertz radio. And that was something else I forgot uh, to tease uh, when I was showing the box was check out that really cool, spacey looking transmitter, right? I was going to uh, add that into my uh, darn I don't have this anymore a bit and say, man, I was really hoping to get a look at that cool space age looking uh, transmitter there. Well, boom, we get to there she is. The old rocket racer uh, transmitter. 
Uh, I love uh, unique there, and there are quite a few uh, vintage uh, RC transmitters that have a unique look to them in one way or the other. Uh, this one's kind of got like a rocket ship thing going. Uh, has a cool uh, throttle and brake thing there. It's kind of one big piece. That, that looks cool. Um, that's, yeah, that it got weird looking uh, trim buttons on it. Uh, got a little door on the back and you gotta be careful these things this plastic uh 25 years old uh is very prone to breaking so be real careful uh, but that's your reverses and if you want to swap your crystal that's where it is very careful yeah that's uh your rocket racer transmitter that comes stock with the nitro razor xt um, beautiful shocks on there. Uh, those, it mentioned something uh, about them, uh, but very nice. Got like a, a hard coat look to them. Um, very, very nice looking shocks. And I guess that's that tiny titanium colored uh, chassis plate, they called that, and top plate. Um, yeah, ready to go, this car is. Uh, if you'd like to see... Some running videos. Okay, I remember doing that too. So the fuel line, um, your pressure line coming off your exhaust, just, you know, bloop, you can go right to there. But the outlet for this tank uh, comes out at the bottom of the tank, like right here. So it shoots out down there. And uh, I, I remember um, having a little bit of issue finding a good place to run it. So what I came up with was it comes out and just hugs right along the chassis and I throw a zip tie there and then it comes right around and to the carb. So I thought that was uh, keep it off of the pipe um, and but you know tucked out of the way. So that was uh, the fuel line. Um, filters, uh, got some oil on it. Yeah, this thing is uh, ready to go. Shocks feel good. Um, we will, uh, have a video coming up very soon. Uh, I, I love getting out, uh, these classic, uh, RCs that you don't see uh, too often and running them. I think it's it's a lot more fun to run this thing than an RS4 just because of the rarity and the fact that uh, you don't see a whole lot of them. So that is the Megatech Nitro Razor XT with a beautiful side and a not so beautiful side uh, with a Porsche body looking really good. nice and centered. Thank you very much for watching. More cars, more engines, more, more, more to come. See you there. Thank you.